Hello, viewers, and welcome to today's episode of Disappointed Dragon. Continuing the theme of shorter single-item videos, this is another blind bag that my brother bought me while he was out. I'm actually fairly excited for this one because it's a Transformers one, and as you guys know, I really like Transformers. And this is one I've not opened before. It's an Autobot and Decepticon Squeezling, so one of them in each pack. I don't know what a Squeezling is. I'm going to assume it's like a rubbery toy because it says it's a squeezy collectible character and you get one deluxe figure inside so i have no idea i think it's just going to be a little rubber toy that you kind of maybe put together so it's going to be i guess one of these four guys yeah series one includes optimus starscream bumblebee and megatron really weird starscream to have a gray head there but my guess is it's a very rubbery toy that you can kind of squoosh Maybe it's kind of like a, a Stretch Armstrong type. I don't know. We're going to get into it. We're going to take a look and we're going to see. This is uh, kind of the art that's from the card game, I believe. This looks very similar to the art style from the Transformers card game, which is something I never got into. You'd, you'd think I would as a lover of both Transformers and card games, but never did. Okay. So you don't get anything inside because you've got the entire collection on the back. Aside from the figure itself. And we got Megatron, which is great, because Megatron is one of my favorite characters. Let's see what it is. Okay, so it's not quite what I was expecting. I thought it would come up in parts and you put it together. But it really is just a really rubbery molded figure. Oh. Hmm. So it does actually have parts that come apart, but not by design, I don't think. Because I can see the glue residue on there, actually. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's glue residue there. That wasn't supposed to come out, but it has because the glue has separated. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bad sign. Uh, from a design standpoint, I mean, it's not bad. It's clearly Megatron. Oh, never mind. It can't stand. Oh, I lied. It can. Uh, it can stand. It's rubbery. Uh, I mean, I... I would hesitate giving this to a kid because clearly they're going to pull the arm off because if the glue doesn't stick very well, they're just going to start pulling it to pieces because if it's if it's made to be stretched around and it starts to come apart or break, that's really not good because it shouldn't do that. Like I can already see that that arm is coming off as well. And if I was to play around with it too much, it would just come right off. So it does take a couple of hits on that because, you know, a kid's going to tear this to pieces. If they're told that it's a stretchy, squeezy toy, they're going to try to stretch and squeeze it, and it's going to fall to bits. That being said, if it was like a buck, it would be okay, but I think we paid $3 for it, and I just, I'm not, I don't think that this is worth that much. It, It's very messy, the paint on it. It's not the worst I've seen, but it's also not great. I like Transformers. I, I'm not a fan of this. I actually kind of prefer those weird T-pose ones I got way back that were just a solid lump of plastic. I don't know. I've never been a big fan of the rubbery stuff if it's not actually stretchy, and this thing is just kind of... I'm really tempted to try to pull all of his limbs off to see how difficult it would be, but I'm not going to. We're just going to leave it. I don't know. I, I, I would I would give this one a fail. I, I, I don't actually think it's very good. If you want a Transformers blind bag, like, or a little Transformers statue or something to go on a desk, the, the domes that I opened before are much nicer because they actually look better and they stack well on a desk. And you can also buy a completed set for, like, eight bucks uh, to just put up. So, yeah, I would just go for that. But, uh, yeah, got nothing really else to say about that, so that'll do it for this episode, guys. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Pew, pew.